Garfield's Halloween Adventure is one of my favorite videos, or is one of my favorite things ever. I mean, this fucking movie delivers. Not only does it take place on Halloween, but it also has an adventure. I used to watch it, I used to watch it all the time. My sister and I would watch it religiously, and I believe it was on the same cassette tape that we taped off TV with um, The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and The Worst Witch, which is a, which is a fucking masterpiece. For, for framing references, when did this come out? When this, did it, do you know when this Yeah, this came out in the mid-80s. So, I went back and I watched this again, and I was like, holy shit. This holds up, and it's not even just like one of those things that I love due to like sentimental, like childhood nostalgia. I think it's like phenomenally animated, extremely well paced. I think like the music, it, it, I mean, it's kind of lame to my taste, but it fits for all the, you know, kids. I think it's funny. I think the jokes work, even though it's not always my brand of humor. This is slightly better than some movies. I'm not saying that I'm contemptuous towards movies, but like, I hate going to see a movie and only liking good parts and not the whole movie. But what's cool is that I feel like this is all the killer and none of the filler. What's cool is that there's a lot of like ghostly, spooky imagery that I think is genuinely effective and extremely um, artistically compelling. Because it's 2D animation, I have a lot of respect for that shit. Progressively throughout the uh, short, which I really like, is that the animation style becomes much more cinematic. They end up getting lost on this journey while... Um, trick-or-treating? While trick-or-treating, while um, Garfield is honing the role or the fantasy of being a pirate. They end up like going onto a kayak, getting lost across the river to find more candy, Go going to this like old, run-down, rural swamp shack where this old man, this crazy, scary, cool-looking old man sits there and talks about, you know spooky shit about uh, John Carpenter's ghosts trying to find buried treasure and um, these pirate ghosts come and scare the hell out of them. If this short personally didn't have, I mean the jokes are fine, I like the jokes, I like um, the story of it, but if the atmosphere of it or if the animation style didn't evolve as it does throughout the video, it wouldn't have as much of an impact on me and I wouldn't be speaking so highly of it. So while here you're just like, this is pretty plain, but the more you watch it, I think it's very entertaining and very cinematic later on. I like spooky atmosphere, and I like it when people put a lot of time in it. And I like how it kind of goes, it teeters on the edge of being a little, uh, it teeters on the edge of being very frightening, but it's never too grim. However, I probably would have liked it if it got like really gory or something. But for what it is, and for, for what it is, I think it's great because I'm usually, I'm usually hypercritical of this type of entertainment. Sometimes I think shit is far too childish for adults or far too adult for children. And I like it when things marry the two. And in the 80s, this, this happened often. In the 80s, there was always like, let's get the shit out of those fuckers. <laughs> Even though it was a kids movie. There are scenes in like, the fucking Dark Crystal. There are scenes in fucking Return to Oz. You know, shit, the movies like Let's that. traumatize them. Yeah, where, where people just remember these really traumatizing sequences from these movies as they get older. It just burns an image into their mind. And I think that's cool. For all the, you know, kids... Did it like shape you sexually when you were this, puberty? Sexually? Oh yeah. Uh, and like when you were going through puberty? Well, here's the thing. I can't fuck a girl unless she's wearing a jack-o'-lantern on her head. Like I fucked so many jack-o'-lanterns in my day, I can't even get to tell you. Like I made plenty of night deposits. But um... <laughs> That's no. uh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? I knew you liked that. <laughs>